You asked for it, and here it is, a video on Runway ML. I'm logged into Runway, and I'm on the home screen. You do have to create an account to play with anything, and that's pretty simple. You can use, like, your Google account or whatever, or create a username and password if that's your jam. Once you're logged in and you're on this home screen, the main area, you have a couple of suggestions about what you might want to do, like lip sync or trying Gen 2. Then you've got a few other suggestions. Well, we're gonna go down and look at all of Runway's AI tools. I thought Runway just made short video clips, but there are actually 29 AI tools that Runway ML offers. Let me quickly run through and show you what they've got. Video to video, that's where you take a video that you already have and change the style of it using text or images. Text or image to video, where you type a text prompt and get a video, or start with an image and get a video from that. Generative audio is basically text to speech. You type in the text you want, pick the voice character, and you've got voice. Lip sync video, and there are a lot of options there. So the end result is you're gonna end up with a video that's lip synced to the audio, obviously. But there's a couple ways you can pick your character that's going to speak. Either you can have a pre-made character that Runway lets you pick from, or you can upload any image you want. Maybe it's an image of you, something you've created somewhere. And then as far as your audio, you can use text-to-speech and pick from one of their pre-made voices, or you can record the speech yourself. It'll take whichever audio you've chosen to use or create and combine it with whichever character, whether you created one yourself or picked one that they already had, and then it will lip sync that character speaking the audio. Remove background is pretty straightforward, but I really like the way that Runway ML does it. Text to image is exactly what you would think. You type in a text prompt, you get an image. Image to image allows you to transform any image that you have by using a text prompt. Infinite image and expand image, while they sound and even the previews here look like the same thing, they are different. With infinite image, you take the image in and you have a text prompt area where you can type in the prompt what you want to see as the expansion. So you tell it what you want in the parts of the image that don't exist yet. And then expand image is a little bit simpler. Here you just bring in the image and you click go and it expands the image. This is similar to what you might see in Canva. With expand image, the text prompt is optional. You select what aspect ratio you want the image to end up in. So if you say you've got a square image and you need it to be 16 by nine, you just bring in your square image, set the aspect ratio that you want to 16 by nine, hit the go button, and it will expand it to fill that aspect ratio. Frame interpolation sounds very technical and fancy, but for simple folks like me, what it means is it will fill in frames that aren't there. So if you have a video that's maybe 24 frames per second, meaning that there's 24 images every second, and you want that to be a little smoother, you can use frame interpolation to increase the frame rate and make the video a little smoother because there will be more images showing more detail points throughout the movement. Erase and replace lets you take an image and get rid of something that's in it already and replace it with something else. Backdrop Remix allows you to change the background of an image Image variation will take an existing image that you have, give you multiple variations of that same image. So while the content is still technically the same, you can see in the example here with the uh, portrait of a woman, it's changing the hair color, it's changing the complexion, and just about everything. 3D Capture allows you to capture things in 3D and then use them in your creations. 3D Texture, gosh, this just looks so real, lets you use text prompts to create 3D textures. In Painting lets you mask and remove objects from your videos. Color grading lets you color grade a video with a text prompt, so you don't have to go download a bunch of LUT files and figure out which one's which. You can tell it what you want and it'll color grade accordingly. If you like what it creates, you can download the settings as a cube file. Super slow motion lets you take a regular speed video and slow it down super slow, as you see here with the man chasing the dog, chasing the rabbit. 
Blur faces will find and blur faces in your video. And you can see by the example that you can choose to keep some faces unblurred and blur other faces. That could be handy if you have people in the shot and you don't want to take them out of the video, but maybe you don't have a model release or you don't want to include their likeness for whatever reason. Depth of field will let you take a video and change the depth of field or create depth of field. In this case, you've got an example of a woman in a room and people behind her and whatnot. So if we didn't have the uh, fancy camera that made the, the blurry background, depth of field will help you do that after the fact. Scene detection automatically splits your footage. It identifies where the scenes change and splits it up into clips for you. Extract Depth will automatically generate a video depth map. Clean Audio takes your existing audio and cleans it up, sort of like Studio Sound in Descript or Enhance Voice in CapCut, Adobe's thing that I can re never remember the name of. Remove Silence will take your audio or video and cut out the word gaps, those long pauses and silences for you. Transcript will take the audio from your video and create a transcript from it. Subtitles, add subtitles to your videos. Add color allows you to take a black and white video and colorize it. Upscale image is pretty self-explanatory. It'll take an existing image that you have and upscale or increase the resolution of that image. And lastly, motion tracking lets you track moving objects in your video. These are the 29 AI tools in Runway, but there's more. They have a video editor that lets you edit your videos and use some of these AI features right there within the video editor on the Runway website in your browser. They also have a very popular feature when it comes to creating video clips called the Motion Brush, and that's the subject of one of their first tutorials. And tutorials is the next section here on the homepage. That section is followed by Discover and Remix, where you can see creations, and if you find something you like, use it as a starting point for your own creation or project. Now over here on the left, we've got the homepage, which is where we are, Runway Watch, say that 10 times real fast, is a collection of AI films and shorts. The next thing on your left menu is all assets, and these will be the things that you have uploaded or created within Runway. I like that they're all in one place and they're pretty well organized. Folders are automatically created for you, and it's really easy to find everything that you have created and uploaded here. Favorites, of course, would be anything you've marked as a favorite. Video editor projects are the projects that you have worked with inside their video editor. And if you click on video editor projects, you see I have creatively named mine untitled and untitled. If you double click on any of the projects within your video projects file, it'll bring you into the video editor where you can continue to work on it. Moving down the left menu, we have these two headings, videos, which you can expand or collapse, where you have the options of what you can do with videos, and then images, things that you can do with images, and then more, which is the 3D and the custom elements. So what does this cost? Let's look at Runway ML's pricing. And if you don't want to look at pricing and just want more Runway ML in action, skip ahead to the next video by clicking the link at the top of your screen and we'll explore video generation, both text to video and video to video. Starting with free, you get 125 credits. Once you've used your 125, you're done. You cannot buy more credits. You can't upscale or remove watermarks in Gen 1 or Gen 2. You can create Gen 1 video to video up to four seconds, Gen 2 text to video up to 16 seconds. If you use the extend video feature, you can have three video projects, five gigabytes of assets, and you are limited to 720p in exports. You have limited export options. If we go to the $15 a month on the monthly plan, standard plan, you get 625 credits a month and those reset every month. Now, 625 credits, they say, is equal to 125 seconds, so about two minutes of Gen 2 generation, or 44 seconds, so just under a minute of Gen 1, or 125 image generations. 
Credits do reset every month and do not carry over. You can upscale and you can remove watermarks in both Gen 1 and Gen 2. You can create 15 second videos in Gen 1, 16 second videos using text to video in Gen 2. Have all the video editor projects you want, 100 gigabytes of access. You can export in 4K and green screen alpha mat, 2K image exports and full 3D texture options. And you can train one one custom AI model. And that is $15 a month if you pay monthly. If you go yearly, it comes out to $12 a month or $144 a year. Your next step up is the Pro, which would give you enough to do, let's see, 450 seconds of Gen 2, which is what, seven, eight minutes of video, or 160 seconds, two and a half minutes of Gen 1, or 450 image generations. That is 2,250 credits every month. They reset. You can upscale, remove watermarks, just like you can in the standard. Same video length. You do get the video editor, like you do in the standard. 500 gigabytes of assets. Now you get all the video editor export options that you had in standard. So you can do the 4K and the green screen alpha mat. You also get the PNG and the ProRes for your video editor compositions. Still get one custom training and you can create custom voices for lip sync and text to speech. And the pro plan is 28 bucks a month if you go annual. If you want the unlimited, which is where you get unlimited generations in both Gen 1 and Gen 2 in Explore mode at relaxed rate. So imagine they might run a little bit slower and then your credits. I'm guessing that means you have the same 2,250 credits that you have from the pro plan, but you can generate beyond that at a relaxed rate. Unlimited is $76 a month if you go annual. Now let's try out Runway's video generator using both text to video and video to video. Just click the video that's on your screen right now and I'll see you there. 